Three years after his addiction, Stuart Little questions his abilities following a disastrous soccer match alongside his adoptive older brother George. Stuart's our relationship with George is strained further after Stuart accidentally crashes a model airplane he and George were creating in the house. Stuart's adoptive father, Frederick, tries to encourage him to lung him that every cloud has a silver lining. Later, Magalo, an apparently injured canary, falls into Stuart's roadster as he is driving home from school. Stuart invites Magalo to stay with his family for a while. However, Magalo is secretly assisting her master, a greedy falcon, to steal valuables from households. Often as a fledgling, Magalo grows reluctant to steal from the littles and becomes close friends with Stuart. The falcon threatens to kill Stuart unless Magalo steals Elena's wedding ring. Concerned for Stuart's safety, Magalo complies. When the littles discover that Elena's ring is missing, they think it has fallen down their kitchen sink. Stuart offers to be lowered down the drain on a string to get it, but the string breaks causing him to fall. Magalo saves Stuart using Elena's necklace and leaves the little's house that night in order to protect him. The next day, Stuart assumes Magalo has been kidnapped by the falcon and decides to rescue her by th the help of the little's cat Snowbell. Before he leaves, Stuart asks George to lie about his whereabouts to his parents. Following advice from Snowbell's ally cat friend Monty, Stuart and Snowbell will discover that the falcon resides in the Pishkin building. There, Stuart confronts the falcon. Magalo assures Stuart that although she was following the falcon's orders, she is still his friend. Stuart begs Magalo to come home with him. But the falcon refuses to let Magalo quit her job. Despite Stuart's attempt to attack the falcon, he drops Stuart over the side of the building, although Stuart T survives by landing in a passing garbage truck. The falcon captures Magalo and imprisons her in a paint can as punishment. However, Snowbill, who has become worried about Stuart, makes his way to T. He building and finds Magalo while the falcon is absent. At the same time, Stuart awakens on a garbage barge that was leaving New York and considers giving up until he finds his and George's broken, yet still functioning model airplane on the barge. Cobbling it together using various pieces of trash, Stuart repairs the plane and escapes back to New York City to rescue Magalo. Meanwhile, the lit less confront George about Stuart's true whereabouts after discovering he has lied, he told them Stuart was sleeping at his friend Will's house for a school play. George eventually comes clean and con. Confesses that Stuart was last seen at the Pishkin building, prompting the Littles to start tracking him down. Meanwhile, Snowbell frees Magalo from the paint can, but the Falcon arrives and attacks him. As he tries to push Snowbell off the building, Falcon is stopped by Magalo, who threatens to toss the ring off the roof if he kills Snowbell. Before the Falcon can reclaim the ring from Magalo, St. Yuat swoops in on his plane and rescues her from Falcon, who chases after them in Central Park, while the Littles and Snowbell follow them. Stuart succeeds in blinding the Falcon by reflecting sunlight. T off his mother's ring before jumping from the plane, which crashes into Falcon and causes him to fall into a trash can that Monty is searching through. Magalo safely brings Stuart back to the Little. S and returns Elena's ring while Snowbell also reunites with them. Sometime later, Magalo says goodbye to the Littles and leaves to migrate south for the winter, with Stuart's baby sister, Martha, finally saying her first words, Bye, bye, birdie.